Johnson. Uh, I'd like to start in that. This is a story about running around, bumping into people, not really understanding why things like that happen. This is a story about bumping into people and how those people really send you off in an entirely different direction and you thought you've been going before. Squinchy was a young man who loved to run. He ran a marathon six months ago and on this particular day he was running very quickly and intensely. He had something to do. He ran and he ran and he ran. He ran right into the door of this dump truck. It was parked on the street. He ran into the door, fell over, said, Oh no, my knee is injured. I can't run any farther. Well, the driver of the dump truck, a young lady by the name of Patient 2932, she escaped from a mental hospital in Staten Island, said, don't worry, I'll drive you to where you need to go. And Squinchy said, oh, thank you. A cobble of angry shish kebab street vendors wants to kill the mayor. Only I can stop them. Let's go. So they drove off in the dump truck. Patient 2932 said, this sounds terribly exciting. Let's stop by the liquor store. I think I need to have a drink. Well, Squinchy got out because patient 2932 said, you'll have to go in and buy the liquor for me. I don't have any ID. I don't know where I'm from. I don't have a name. I escaped from a mental hospital in Staten Island. The only reason I have a dump truck is because I went to driver the night before. I stabbed him and cut him up into tiny pieces and put him in the back of the dump truck. Squinchy said, would you like any particular liquor? <laughs> Patient 2932 said, just get me a bottle with a handle on it. <laughs> they commenced to driving down the avenue. Patient 2932 drank the liquor like mineral water. Squinchy said, you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic and I don't mean to judge you, but you really ought to stop drinking. Patient 2932 did stop drinking. Right after they ran into a bridge abutment. Crash! Steam rose up from the engine of the dump truck. Oh, dang, said Squinchy. We're doomed. We can't stop the assassination plot now. And he was right. The cabal of angry, vengeful shish kebab street vendors carried out their heinous deed. They impaled the mayor upon a teak shish kebab skewer of Taiwanese manufacture and baked him over a bed of hot coals. But Squinchy decided to learn from the terrible occurrence. He decided that he would learn to make something other than macaroni and cheese. He spent most of his days and nights when he wasn't running eating macaroni and cheese. It was an easy food to prepare as a solitary individual. But he decided if I knew how to shish kebab, I could have infiltrated the group and stopped the murderous deed from occurring. So he went out and bought a grill and a cookbook and learned how to cook foods other than macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Patient 2932 joined Alcoholics Anonymous and took to reading the Bible, searching its pages for answers to her endless questions.
Thank you, Joe.